When carpal tunnel syndrome first starts, it's often mild and intermittent. In fact, usually the first symptoms are a tingling sensation in the hand that occur either just at night, first thing in the morning, or when doing certain activities during the day. And the reason for this is that the carpal tunnel varies in size depending on your wrist position. In a neutral position like this, the carpal tunnel is at its widest, but in positions of wrist flexion or extension, the carpal tunnel narrows. So usually, the symptoms of hand tingling can be relieved fairly quickly by changing our wrist position or shaking the hand to restore blood flow. If the condition worsens, then the tingling and numbness can become continual throughout the day and night, and this can give you a feeling of clumsiness and a loss of dexterity. You might find yourself dropping things, usually not because your grip strength is any weaker, but because that lack of sensory feedback can make it difficult for you to work out how hard to grasp something. In the later stages of the condition, the hand may become continually numb, and the deeper nerve fibres can also be affected, causing weakness and muscle wastage. The main hand muscle supplied by the median nerve is called the abductor pollicis brevis, or APB for short, and it's located just here at the base of the thumb. A visible wasting of this muscle, as seen here, is an indication of more advanced or later stage carpal tunnel syndrome.